Hello everybody, this is BB Tales, Brother Bear Tales. I'm Randy and I'm here with Jay Money. You better believe it. And we are back with Bear Talk, our podcast, where we talk about different topics, show you different things. Like when we built a computer, we showed yeah. you the process of building my computer and uh, it came out great. I did. So now we're here to talk about building a computer. The pros and the cons. Yeah. We've got to do pros and cons. We can't be biased. We can't be super biased, of course. Maybe a little bit. Maybe we'll be a little biased. But, <laughs> you know, we have to at least tell you the cons. Yeah. So, obviously, we are in favor of building a computer as opposed to buying one because we did build a computer. We yeah. both built our own computers. We've had to rebuild. Have you ever, how many times have you built a computer? Once or twice? Just, just once for me. And okay. then the second time I was with you. Okay. I've yeah, had to rebuild two, mine. But you know, I had to rebuild it. I, I built the first one. Wait, no, we built three because we did Annalise. Oh, yeah. So we, we, yeah. we built Annalise's, which is my fiance, in case you didn't know. So hers, we built mine. I built mine originally, and I had to rebuild it. So I think I've built four times. times. Yeah. So it's quite the experience. So the the biggest uh, the biggest pro is the satisfactory feeling you get whenever you're yeah. done. You're just like, wow, I just built a computer. And it works. People are like, yo, dude, that's a cool computer. They're like, yeah, I built it. And they're like, oh. you, you what? Dude, you're like a genius, bro. Like, yeah. I know. Maybe, Gosh. Maybe not. I don't know. It was easy. Whatever. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no, but like, I feel like there is uh, something to that. Like people, if you tell yeah. them you built a computer, they're like, wow. It's like a stigma of like, you know, it, you build a computer and they're like, automatically think like dude I didn't even know that was possible like yeah, it's crazy actually, you know how to do that I've actually heard people say that before like you didn't know that they, they didn't know you could build a computer yeah. and I was like it's like a big boy Lego set it really is and when I started doing it I, I didn't know it existed either yeah until, I never thought about that yeah and, and I found a new way Tiger Direct and they had all the parts I'm like what and yeah. they've been around for a little while I was like jeez it's crazy yeah these websites like you can go online to these websites like you're saying Newegg and so many others and just like look up specific parts you need. Uh, PC Part Picker will actually let you like go to – it'll check prices on every website. And it'll check the compatibility because not all parts work together. Uh, you have to do a little bit of research. You do need to research. Which would probably fall under a con a little bit but we'll talk about that later. Yeah. So uh, do we want to start with the pros? Yeah, let's just start with the pros. Okay, just... so the pros is starting number one, everyone's big thing, a huge reason for building a computer is it's cheaper. You yeah. save money. It's less yeah. cash out of your pocket. You want a computer, you want to spend a little less, you're better off just picking your parts. Yeah, I mean, uh, there's actually a big community of people like buying used items like from eBay or Craigslist or just finding the cheapest prices on everything. And, you know, um, there's some things you do want to get new. Like mm-hmm. me personally, I would probably want to get the CPU new, and the, the GPU probably. Uh, the GPU you could get away with getting used, but if someone's using it on a render farm, you don't want to use that. But yeah, that's a different topic. <laughs> but, um, <laughs> but yeah, like and and it allows you to you know go to Amazon or go to different websites and get the cheapest price. Cause nowadays it's crazy how big Amazon is. So, yeah. Whenever we order some of my parts, some of the they were cheapest on Amazon. Like yeah. half of my parts came from Amazon, half of them came from Newegg, and mm-hmm. those were the cheapest prices. Yeah, and you know if you buy a computer, you know let's say Alienware or Origin PC or mm-hmm. something like that, they they probably get it cheap, but they don't sell it to you cheap. And if you're gonna buy a computer, like just straight up buy a computer, you're gonna want to buy it from one of those places. Yeah. Because they're gonna make it better for you. Yeah. If you buy a Walmart gaming PC, you will get awful <laughs> product. I've seen like a review on one of them. Yeah. Absolutely awful. He bought like a two thousand dollar Walmart gaming mm-hmm. PC. They sent him the thousand dollar one on accident. So he didn't even get the right PC. So he yeah. just reviewed the thousand dollar one, and it was garbage. Absolute yeah. garbage. You you'd be better off going with you know Origin or uh, what is it? Nothing. Origin or Alien or whatever because they know they're doing they're going to put quality parts in mm-hmm. and you are going to be paying for the labor which is why it's going to be more expensive because it is labor intensive you do have to put a lot of there is time put into it. it it takes like close to a day to put a computer together yeah. and if everything runs smooth it might not take that long it might, yeah, it's it might take, take you hours, hours but it's yeah. still going to take you hours but it's not going to take you like a whole day if everything goes perfectly smooth yeah. 
Um, so the good thing is, like we were saying, you get to pick your parts. Like, mm-hmm. that's great. And if you buy your parts, you're going to know where they come from. So yeah. there's a chance that the parts you're getting are higher quality because mm-hmm. you know where they're coming from. You can track, like, you can figure out where they're coming from as opposed to buying a PC with, like, so say the same part, but they might get it from, like, a, a, a no-name yeah. person that puts it out. Not to hit on, like, Walmart or Best Buy, but usually... Uh, the graphic card that they use is from a cheap brand so like mm-hmm. it won't have the fancy lighting and, and, and shroud or whatever and cooling which the cooling is very important. you need the cooling but yeah. the, everything else is you don't really need it but it's still you, you're still going to get the car that you want but it's not going to run as fast as it could yeah or should for that matter yeah exactly because if you're going to pay uh, for like say you want a GTX like 2000 series you're gonna pay good money and if you're paying good money like you want that to be good yeah you want the RTX card to like the newest card to be good and um cause people like people will make them and they just won't be as good they won't last long they won't cooling yeah. won't be as good they won't be able to handle it as well as they should and stuff like that really makes a big difference and you can do your research and get the parts you want and get the parts that you're comfortable with spending all this cash on or yeah. like they're a yeah, so you can like budget for different parts. I, that's what I did. I'm like, okay, I'm only going to spend this much money on like a CPU or this much money on a GPU and this is what I'm comfortable spending and this is my overall budget. So like you, you can go up and down with things and prices and make what kind of computer you want. If you want a super fancy gaming computer, you're going to have to spend more but you're yeah. a lot better off building it. Yeah, but like you, like you said, you can customize it to what you need to do. Yes. So like, you know, let's say you need a more powerful GPU than a CPU you can do that, but if you were to buy a system, usually with a more powerful graphics card, they're going to put the more powerful CPU. Mm-hmm. Just, you know, they want to raise the price, but just because they want to pair it like that. But you don't necessarily have to do that, you know. And, you know, if, if you're editing constantly, you know, you might want to spend more on the CPU or, or vice versa. So. Yeah. And it's, it's all preference. Yeah. And that's the good thing about building is your preference. Another huge thing is you get to learn how to build a computer. Like that's a good skill to have. That's like how cool is that? That's like resume level stuff. That's like you like you said. You tell people that. That's like whoa. That's so cool. Like that yeah. is a cool thing to be able to do. If you have a problem with your computers, if you buy a computer and you haven't put it together, you're like, oh, well, I have to send this to somebody because I don't know how to fix it. Yeah. But if you have a computer and you put it together and you put this research into the parts, well, you come up with this problem. You're like, well, that's probably this, and then you know what to check. And like some motherboards will like have a way to check what's working and what's not. Like when I was building it originally, uh, the motherboard failed. Uh, well, let's let's back. The, the power the, supply failed. The power supply freaking like blew up. Like we smelled like smoke. And we that, smelled something burning. That killed the motherboard. Uh, but the indicator light was still going off, like telling us what was wrong. So like, yeah, it basically was a light saying like, "Hey, there's something wrong." And sure enough, we found out that. The, the power supply was getting old and it just failed and it, it burnt up and which sent like an electrical surge to the motherboard which is a big no-no but luckily because we we had a pretty high quality motherboard it protected all the parts it, it had a feature that took the hit of the electricity yeah. which so, was really nice yeah, instead of having to return the CPU GPU RAM and everything you just have to return the motherboard then we had to wait for the new motherboard and then we got to finally build and put it together which was really nice yeah and um, we got an even better motherboard <laughs> true and, and a better uh, power supply but um yeah, yeah you get to learn how to build it and why not know how to build something that you spend most of the day on yeah you know what I mean and like for us we're constantly on our computers uh, I'm in computer science he's in mechanical engineering so we constantly need our computers for stuff in classes, you know, uh, obviously we make YouTube videos, so we have to use our computers for that, uh, a lot of editing, 3D modeling, and he has 3D modeling, I have coding, cracking security codes, cracking security codes, <laughs> oh my gosh, yeah, I had, to, yeah. <laughs> I had to leave my laptop on for like 24 hours to like, because yeah. I was in like a, a, a security class where I had to leave my laptop on for 24 hours running uh, a dictionary's cracking algorithm on passwords that's getting way off hand but my computer was on for 24 hours it's a podcast we can do that that's true though we can get way off sound. Uh, so my computer was on for 24 hours uh, just trying to crack 
these 10 passwords and guess what after 24 hours it only cracked 5 and it was like <laughs> sorry these are the 5 weren't crackable Here probably could have cracked it on your desktop yeah and like but the, you used you didn't want to use it while it was no running. I did well I, I had already installed everything else on my laptop yeah. and I'm using my laptop mostly for school stuff now uh, I do some coding stuff on my desktop but not nearly as much as I used to and uh, it took 24 hours which is crazy and it was it's scary too because like the computer science department doesn't like uh, the security class really? yeah because the dictionary attack I did you can actually use that to crack people's passwords well then they should be like and the passwords yeah, I mean, like some of the passwords like you cracked 5 out of 10 like one of them was like it was password you know stupid but like he made it that way and yeah. then like um, a couple of them were super easy but some of them were like wow it cracked that like, yeah like yeah. Well, you have a good computer science program. Yeah. That's for sure. <laughs> a computer science program doesn't want, like... Teaching you real doesn't. life stuff. What? Like, they have classes for the... They have um, laptops for the security class because they don't want them using their computers. It's, oh, wow. Yeah, it's crazy. Uh, yeah, anyways, why yeah. not learn how to build a computer that you'll use constantly, you know? Yeah. And you can fix yourself because you know how to build it and basically... You know, if you need to fix it, you just go back of what you did. All right, this this plug goes here. This, you know, which is actually what we had to do when we were yeah. building uh, my computer. Uh, we got it. We got uh, when we got the new motherboard. We said we're going to test one thing at a time. We put on the CPU, put on the GPU, plugged in the power supply. It worked great. Put it in the computer. Just tested those things specifically. It worked yeah. great. So we screwed those in. Plug everything else in. Click the button. Doesn't work. We're like, oh my lord. But then. We got really frustrated. We took it out again, tested it again outside of the case, and it worked. And it worked. <laughs> so we put it back in. Oh we, we, we plugged everything back in, but then we're like, okay, it's got to be something. And yeah. then I found the wire, and it was like uh, peripherals, which is like uh, like fan settings and stuff, which you don't actually need. Yeah. And of course, Jane Money's like, unplug that. We unplugged it, pressed the button, it came on. <laughs> I was like, at that point, I was so done. I was like, you know what? Any, I'll try anything. We were so frustrated because we'd already built this computer once. Yeah. Uh, well, we built a computer, then we built the computer once, then it fried. So then yeah. we had to send it back. Then we had to wait days for the new one to come in. Yeah. Then we built it all again, and we saw that it worked. Then we put it in the computer, and it didn't work. It was very roller coaster ride. So I guess that was worth it. Okay. That, that's this one is... of the cons is like <laughs> one of the cons is like the time and effort you have to put into it. But I mean, anything worth it's gonna have time and effort. And then, like, the problems that can come with it could be a con. I could see that being a con. Yeah. Um, like, the, you have to self-diagnose your problems. But that comes with learning how to build a computer. You're, if you don't have a single issue building a computer, that's a miracle. That is. Absolutely miracle. <laughs> it, it's heart-wrenching. Like, when we had to put the CPU in multiple times, by the way. It's absolutely terrifying. <laughs> but, you know, it's it's part of the process. And it's really yeah. cool. But, yeah, it, I mean, I think it's fun. Um, but... And then again, you don't have to learn like by yourself. There's so many oh, uh, videos. There's you know, videos. There's you can watch ours. I mean, we don't like fully explain it, but um, there's so many tutorials. And oh, yeah. Such a big community, and you are a part of the community once you do it. And um, yeah, it, they have people step by step. They have like two hour long videos just telling you exactly what you need to do. And I, I recommend watching multiple, multiple of them because some people have different ways of. It's good to do a lot of research before you yeah. start this. And the thing is, like, once, like he said, once you become part of that community, like, he had built his computer and I had built a computer. So, like, when I got my parts, he was like, let me help you build it. And yeah. I was like, let's do this. And, like, that's just part of the community. The first time I built a computer, uh, I had a friend in high school that had already built his. And he's like, let me come over, let me help you. And, like, you, you like, want to do it again. You want, yeah. whenever you click that power button on that computer, you want to see it light up. You want to hear the fans. Well, not too loud, of course. But you, <laughs> you want to hear the fans turn. You want to see the lights lighting up. That's the other thing. You can build it to your style. You can if do you, RGB for days. Oh, my gosh. If you like blue, if you like green, you like red, you can do any of those. If you <laughs> like uh, RGB, like you said, you can make it whatever color you want. I mean, you're going to pay a little more for that kind of stuff. But, but if that's right. what you want, if that's your style, if you want to constantly change your style, change your colors, anything like that, you can constantly do that. And that's your style. And something huge that we were talking about uh, with buying it from other people, like Walmart cable management, right? Yeah. So whenever you're setting up a computer, 
you kind of want your cables tucked away. You don't, like whenever you look, like so say your case is like a side panel, uh, for like glass side panel that you can look in, or if you just want to open up your case and show people, you don't want it to like look all messy and like yeah. cables everywhere. You want to hide them as best you can. Walmart and like people like that, Best Buy, they won't take the time. Yeah, if, if you buy it, buy a computer, the more money you spend, the better you're going to get exactly. in that case. But, you know, if you build it yourself, you can get it as cheap as you want and as good looking as you want. And you can, you you can manage those cables any way you want. You can use tie wraps. You can use whatever you yeah. want. I saw this thing on Instagram said first build is like messy second build is like perfect yes because <laughs> once you do it once the second time you're like it needs to look better yeah and cable managing like oh like it takes so much time it really doesn't if you do it from the start oh my gosh no that's like know? the last like that's the last thing you worry about and like it, as long as you're like making things like pretty like neat yeah. along the way the It'll end's be. not even a problem the PC cases like new PC cases these days have a lot of room for cable management because they oh, know yeah. it's important now, and and plus if you cable manage it well, it will give you better airflow. Your Anyways. PC stays cooler. It yeah. runs better. It's happy. You're happy. Yeah, it's great. And also, whether or not you want to get into this, but you can overclock those computer your computer that you built easier. Overclocking basically unleashing the power of your computer uh, to a higher standard than what it actually is. Yes. So basically what Intel or AMD, what they do is they set your component to a certain thing that they know will run really well. But there's this thing called a silicon lot lottery where uh, the CPU, every CPU or GPU can run insanely like better or a little bit better. But Either way, they usually can run better, but um, basically there's some wiggle room. Yes. And you can get more performance out of your, you know, computer. But if you buy, you know, like a Walmart or Best Buy, it seems like we're like hating on them. But <laughs> if you buy that, they might not have the best cooling and stuff for you to actually be able to do that. But if you do it yourself, then you get to control that and kind of dab, dabble into that if you want. We've been hitting on them a lot. Best Buy does sell good parts, though. Yeah, they do. You can they, get good parts at Best Buy. They're probably going to be a little more expensive than you can get on Amazon or Newegg or something. Yeah. But they do sell good parts. We're just saying, like, if you buy a complete computer from them, it's not, probably not going to be as good as you can make it yourself. We recommend, like you said, Origin. Piece, or Origin just got bought, got bought out by Corsair. So I guess, so I guess Corsair, buy from Corsair. Um, they're probably still under the name Origin PC. And yeah, then, I don't know what they're going to do. Alien and Razer make good computers. They're just expensive. Yeah. They're going to be more expensive. But they will be good quality, but then again, it's that kind of expensive. And, you know, everyone wants to save money. Everyone you know? needs to save money. Unless you win the lottery, you don't care. Yeah, if you win the lottery, it's fine. <laughs> We're college students, so we understand needing to save money. Yeah, if you win the lottery, just hit us up a little bit. You know? DM us. We don't mind if you free comment. computers. So don't comment. DM us. DM us. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, so now we gotta do cons. I mean, we talked about most yeah. of the cons. Let's uh, see if we, let's see if we missed You gotta something. build it. Um, oh, so like one thing, and we kind of touched on this, it's kind of a con. So if you buy a computer, they have a warranty on it. If yeah. something goes wrong, you send the whole computer back, they fix it. But that can take a couple weeks. So yeah, this is, and you, if you need it. But then you don't have to worry about it, right? Yeah, so, I mean, it's under their warranty, they have to deal with it. You don't have to worry, I know what's going on. Uh, so the con is like if something goes wrong when you build it you have to be able to figure it out yeah. but if you do figure out what parts are like have a problem you can like most parts have warranties like for a certain yeah. like a limited period of time and it'll probably it would probably happen earlier rather than later if it's later then they've probably lived up like their life yeah. it's odd for a part to work for like six months and then just stop mm -hmm. especially like if it's quality parts yeah. But uh, so if a part breaks on a computer or like stops working on a computer that you build, you have to send it back as opposed to sending the whole computer back and letting them fix it. Yeah. Um, so yeah. it is prob it'd probably be quicker in the long run if you built it and be like, oh, it's, you know, my RAM or oh, it's my GPU. And you just send that back and you get it a few days later rather than sending a whole system that you can't use at all. Yeah. You know. You never know when they're gonna give it back to you. Yeah, it could you know? take forever. Like, could take a and long it's time. big. Like, 
How are you going to package that? I've never had to do that. I've never had to do that. I don't, don't want to do that. <laughs> <laughs> That's how we build computers. Uh, so another thing is, technically, there's a higher rate of failure of building your computer. But yeah. that's kind of obvious because if you buy a computer and it's not working, like there's a low chance you're going to buy a computer and it's not working. Uh, yeah. And then you just bring it back and say, yo, this thing doesn't turn on. And they'll yeah. be like, oh, my B, here's a new one. So there's technically a high rate of failure, but that's because there's almost 0% chance of a brand new computer not working when you buy one. Yeah. So there's Or at that. least it should, should work. It should work. <laughs> but there's, yeah. Yeah, it, it's... We, we have to put it as a con, but... We don't really view it as a con, but, yeah. you know, there's, you know, putting the CPU into the socket, it's got little pins. If you accidentally mess that up, it will mess up your computer. Yeah. Um, but if you're careful, you follow the tutorials and stuff, it's really not that much. I think the, much. the scariest part of building a computer is sometimes you, you, you want to be gentle because all the parts, you know, you don't want to break anything. But sometimes you have to apply a little force to, like, <laughs> the, the, uh, the CPU in. You have to apply, like... A little more force than you probably think to like yeah. lock it in place. Um, the RAM, you have to put a little force sometimes to like get them to pop into place. But the parts um, are more resilient than you actually think they are. Yeah. Just don't be like super aggressive with them yeah. because you will break them if you're too aggressive with them. Yeah. As long as you stop or like if you're screwing something up, you stop when it gets a little tight. So you need to do. Then you're good. Yeah. Just, just enough to get it in place or just enough to pop it into place. Stuff like that. And you're fine. You're good to go. Um, I think we covered most of the cons like while yeah. we were talking honestly um, just an overview of pros you can choose what parts you want it's cheaper you can get higher quality parts mm-hmm. uh, it's cool to learn how to build it and service it you get that satisfaction bragging rights and you seem smarter than you actually are man that's awesome <laughs> uh, you can build to your style you can overclock it and you can cable manage it better and then the cons you, uh, you have to build it you gotta put the time and energy into it you're gonna have to research because if you don't you're not gonna get you might you might not even buy parts that are compatible yeah so that that is important uh, you gotta put some time to researching it if you break it like we said you gotta send the individual parts back you have to figure out what parts you have to be able to diagnose the problems yeah. um, higher risk of failure like we said obviously like like I said if you buy a computer it doesn't work you just bring it back to give you a new one um, there's no warranty on the whole thing like yeah. you said yeah. there's no warranty on the whole thing just individual parts but to us uh, I, I guess y'all can comment down below for sure what y'all think yeah. tell us what y'all think if it's uh, if it's worth it I think the biggest thing is money and you just save a lot yeah. of money and it's such a learning you, you save money it's a learning experience and you get to customize it to what you want I think those are the three big things for me that are like make, make all the cons not even matter like the fact that you get to learn, like to me, that takes most of the cons away. The cheaper price takes most of the cons away. It's just, it to, to me, and I know you, it just building a computer is so much more worth it. Yeah, it's really rewarding, and you get to learn something. Why not learn something every day? Exactly. You know what I'm saying? You gotta constantly be learning, constantly learn, people. Constantly learn. <laughs> Stay on that A game. Stay on that grind. Keep it up. Ye ye. But that's what we have to tell you about the pros and cons of building a computer. If y'all want to know more about computers, comment down below. Always interested in y'all feedback. We constantly use your feedback. I want Instagram getting y'all feedback all the time. We got stuff in the making right now. We got stuff that's going to be coming out. Y'all probably already know some stuff. There's stuff y'all probably don't even know that we're working on that's going to come out. It's going to be great just for you amazing people. So with that, I want to say leave a like on the video. Once again, comment down below. I'm Randy, and I'm here with Jay Money. This has been Bear Talk, and you know what I'm going to say. Bear with us until the next video.